Van Prepper here. Today I'm going to talk to you about a subject that's pretty serious, I think. Um, I don't think this is going to be a rant as much as it is a lament of what has happened to our culture, uh, what has happened to us as individuals. Um, it's, it's really a sad statement of where we are today uh, in how we look at each other, how we view our fellow man and what we, what we think of our fellow man. My wife uh, works at the Department of Motor Vehicles and uh, about a year ago, I think it was less than a year ago, they found a body uh, within 100-150 yards of um, their front door. Uh, there's some woods right across the parking lot and they found a body. Somebody had been murdered. This morning my wife goes in, Black Friday, you know, got to go to the DMV because people need to get to the DMV on Black Friday, I guess. And uh, when they got there, they found out that the guy who comes in a little earlier than them to do their sidewalks, uh, when he came in, he found a body up against the building. And the person isn't, wasn't dead, but the person uh, appeared to have been uh, mugged and beaten and left right next to the building uh, overnight exposed to the elements. And the person, the, the police said they did not expect this person to live. Um, I, it really is a frightening turn from, I remember when I was a kid, and I, I grew up in a small town, you know, only a couple of thousand people, but I remember when I was a kid being four years old, and my mother let me and my sister, who was a couple of years older than me, you know, six at the time, we could go, we'd be gone all day as long as we got back in time for dinner, and whatever, you know, wherever we went, uh, the, that person's parents would send us home, they knew, you know, everybody had dinner around the same time, and uh, you know, we really, there was no fear. My mom didn't have fear that we would, you know, something bad would happen to us. And, uh, you know, it was a simpler time. And I know that sounds silly. I sound like an old fart. But good gravy, where are we um, that we care so little about another human being that, you know, if, you, if you're going to mug him and you want his money so bad, first off, get a friggin' job if you want some money. Stop uh, getting it like that. You're, you're risking a lot more and giving up your freedom and, you know, being taken away from your family for committing a crime than it would be just to go get a job. Stop being so lazy. And, um, you know, if you got to mug somebody, good gracious, mug them, but don't leave them, you know, beat them so bad and then leave them exposed to the elements uh, where they're going to die from it. I mean, what do you get off the guy? $100, $200? If you mugged me, you'd get... Uh, a debit card with a, you know, X, <laughs> you know, it's going to do you no good, and, because uh, you don't know my PIN number, and uh, no cash, I never have cash on me. I mean, what are you mugging this guy for? He probably didn't have anything with him, as far as cash goes, and, and this person now is probably going to die. I mean, is that really worth it? Is that how little respect we have for human life? Uh, I know this is a rant, and, you know, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I hope that uh, I know that none of you guys that I talk to kind of share that same thing, so I hope that um, you know we can take some time to reflect on the value of human life versus you know how flippantly some people treat it, uh, especially this time of year as we get to roll into Christmas season and celebrate the birth of the Lord. Um, this is a time to to really value human life and and uh, look at how much the Lord valued us. So um, I hope you guys uh, take a little time to appreciate the people around you a little more. And uh, keep your eyes open because this is a, a dangerous world we live in. I'm Van Prepper. Happy shooting.